I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Okay. What do you? What is it? Can I come with you? Yeah. <sighs> I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Well, Pavardi, it's been nice to have you along. Um, I'll be glad to bring you along. Pick a cabin and show us you just met me. Why would you want to go into space with a stranger? She's kind of been bonding with me this entire time. She's kind of given me her thoughts, told me about her family. I can't, I'm not really a stranger anymore. Uh, yeah, come along. Grab us bunk and uh, you can do what we're going to do, which is, I don't know, what? Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. She's very cute, but I imagine she might be a little bit annoying. All right, uh, let's go in. Max, good to see ya. I'm glad to see Ada didn't kill you. Uh, well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Your sarcasm is not appreciated. I did not name the ship. Party, go grab a bunk while I talk to our semi-homicidal AI that might try to kill us all. So, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you later. See ya. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete. Ada, I'm back. Captain, oh, I have to right. you that Ed's large power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What? Not the answer I expected, or the response that I expected. So, uh, Ada, hey, uh, I, I got the power regular. I brought a friend. It's, well, I don't really know if she's a friend or not, but she's, she's okay. She's all right. She's, she's good. She knows how to fix stuff. And this ship obviously needs fixing because half this stuff, I don't know if it works if it's in operational condition or what, but uh, she says she can fix you. Well, not you, you're perfect. You're perfect in every way. Don't jettison me out the cargo hold. What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Mm, no, yes, yes, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Ah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll be back then. Oh my god. Bravardi, we went up a level. Yay? All right, we gotta do this first. All right, so I put a little bit of, you know, spread around a little bit. I'm actually starting to add some leadership, because I've got Max and Pavardi now, so I, maybe I should start doing this. So, uh, yeah, we're getting pretty good at some of this stuff. Science is getting really close to tinkering costs coming down. But those are my strongest suits, but unsurprisingly, that's that's where I'm at. And hack and lockpick are obviously really good. Shooting, I'm pretty good at shooting things. That's, that's to be expected. Let's apply that. Yes. And then we get a perk. I get a perk. Uh, I'm not to tier two yet. Oh, this is interesting. These requirements. Oh, it requires five previous perks. So we need two more in this level. So I have to decide what I want. Oh, that's right. I said I was going to take the tactical time dilation recharge rate. Increase it 50%. That would go really well with the increased tactical time dilation meter max. So that would work really well. So it would recharge faster. Maybe get two tactical time dilation shots off each combat round. So... I think that's the way to go. Um, I try to use that more often. So uh, apply. Apply. Yes. Uh, Pavardi, did you go up in level? I don't know if she did or not. Nope, not yet. Nope, this is all good. She's fine. Everything is good. No problems there. Okay. 
All right, so we went up a level. So yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back, Gate. I'm going to go put that power regulator in so you can have the full joy of juice up here, I guess. Let's be set up the ladder. I didn't look around here. Oh. Huh. Okay. So this must be aha that's a similar stand that we had before in the other power regulator room from already because i am an engineer i know how to do these things install the power regulator yay did it work is everything working is there a is there another what is this where does this one go Ah, it's the, it's the back room. Hi, Max. I'll come talk to you in a second. I don't want to ruin this. So let's go talk to, to uh, Ada and tell her we got the thing done with the power regulator and see what she has to say. Good news. Good news, everyone. We've installed the power regulator. Are you happy now? Can you feel the juice power powering through your systems? What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I've installed the power regulator. Aren't you proud? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Ah, very good. Glad I to hear it. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Okay, what do I do? Um, no, I'm I'm good. We don't need to. Get, let's just get off the planet. I've been trying to say that for the last day or so. Let's get off this planet. Let's go. Boy, that looks rough, I tell ya. Can I get major ship upgrades later? Because the unreliable looks kind of rough. Just saying. Woo. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Phineas, hey! Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hi, Hale Phineas. and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. I yeah, squished him. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I feel okay, I guess. You know, that whole time dilation thing freaks me out, but I'm feeling okay. I'm... I've been feeling a little light-handed. Uh, also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes. Yeah, um, that. That's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Uh, why am I not? What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Stellar Bay. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Oh, that's right. You're short on chemicals. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman. Gladys Kelly. a cozy Kulkelly. little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Uh, fine. I'll have a word with Gladys. Why do I need a nav key? Land on a planet. Slow down. You're asking me to get involved in the black market. I'm not that concerned about that. Or I could have put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. Uh, I don't think the ship can make it that far. Can I land outside somewhere? Land somewhere outside Stellar Bay. Uh, why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Okay, it's Terrible, not a planet. Badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Ah, I'm already in love with it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. I'm kind of Think disappointed of a nav in that. As a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Understood. Fine, I'll have a word with Gladys. Uh... Right, the black marketeer. What's stopping me from just leaving house? I can't. Why can't I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? That's a good question. In 
theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. That's a big might. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures, more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. I see You'd your point. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia. And I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me. Talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Are you sure your tests work? Because I'm actually thinking that might be kind of fun. Uh, fine. Uh, about this class person, how do I know I can trust her? Because she's a black marketeer, lawless planet. I'm not who everyone thinks I am. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. The last smuggler you put me in business with ended up squished. He wasn't that bright. What makes you think that she's going to be okay? Uh, I'm, no, I'm fine working with the criminal. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. Okay, good. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology. Disguise? It's time. What does that do? I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll oh. find it in the Captain's Quarters. Captain's Quarters. Oh, that's right. I have my own bunk. I'll put it to use. Thanks. Uh, you want to explain what a Holographic Shroud is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. Okay. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Oh, it, it would make sense. First holographic generation shroud. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. I mean, you haven't used it? Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. I see. Brilliant. I have no idea what you're talking about. You mean this thing has limitations? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. I knew there was a catch. Makes it more likely. Okay. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Good point. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Act casual. Got it. Uh, what do I need a gadget for this? Uh, can't I just steal a uniform? Uh, thanks. I'll put it good use. People actually fall for this? It seems far-fetched. It kind of does. Now that I think about it, holographic. Yeah, it seems far fetched, Phineas. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd, they won't focus on you. Okay, gray man, got it. I'll put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. I like wealth and the power. How do we know it's a lie? in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. I like wealth and power. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Where's my navigation terminal? Ah, Hal. Hal the navigation terminal. The unreliable navigation terminal. Doesn't inspire a lot. I just realized Pravardi's not here. That's a nice chair. I want to be able to sit in the chair. How come I can't sit in the chair? I'll talk to the navigation terminal later. Uh, Ada, I'm gonna go take a tour of the ship, because this seems like a good time to do so. Because I haven't seen my own ship. Oh, there's stuff in here. Two? This is my ship! How come I don't have a key for that? You gotta be kidding me! Uh... Maybe I'll find some more keys later on. Okay. There's Pravardi. Okay. Go upstairs. Captain's quarters, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'll go check that out later. Go upstairs. Talk to Max. Max was up here. Let's see what else. What's that? 
Sam! Sam? There's no response from the auto mechanical unit. A serial number etched into its chest indicates the letters Sam. Leave the auto mechanical alone. Guess that's all I can do. I don't know what he is. I have my own robot. My robot army grows from zero to one. What is this? Oh, examine. Photo of Pavardi's father, a stern older man with warm eyes. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Let's not steal her stuff. Anything else I've noted in here? Examine. Abigail, first wrench dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. She named her wrench. Okay. Need to worry about Pavardi naming things again. More stuff. I'll if I'm really desperate for supplies. Examine. The modern steel wrench and you. This book is heavily dog-eared with doodles in the margins, all talking about Abigail the wrench, I imagine. Anything else? She has a couple of plants. She didn't seem like a plant type of person. What is that? The bag. What is that? Examine. Is this... This one's pretty plain. This... Oh, it's Max's room. Hi, Max. I got the other rooms before we got to talk to Max. Yeah, pretty plain. Pretty plain with the green hue. And we've checked out this room. What's... I don't remember this being here. Can I play the dartboard? I want to play darts. This sounds like fun. Ah, what's this? It is the bathroom. Check behind the toilet. Just because. All right, there's nothing here. Anything? No? Okay. Well, at least we have a toilet. So, and it works. So we have power to the toilet. So we should talk to Max. Is there anything new in there? Purple Blueberry Crunch. That sounds really appetizing, actually. Tropical flakes and purple berry flavored power nuggets. Carbohydrates, I'll take it. It's mine, this is my ship. I can take whatever I like. So let's go talk to Max. Got a cabinet full of books. It seems like appropriate for him. Index of Banned Literature. Part one, various qualifying considerations. Part two, principal rules of restrictive management. Part three, morals and maximum of abandoning unethical literature. Part four, proof of grand architect and predestination, a refutation of the titles listed here, where then, here, where then. Part five, consequences, the mind and the will of a man when led astray. Part six, official list of banned titles. Part seven, prerequisites for advancing the investigation, outing and penalizing of offenders. Max, did I worry about this? For official OSIs only, illegal to be viewed by unsanctioned. Uh, Max, am I unsanctioned? I worry about that now. Same with the rest of his stuff. Doctrinal Studies 539 of Equity and Equity Equations. These textbooks have been out of print for almost half a century. The margins are filled with scribble notes and many, many passages have been underlined. Some patches of Pages have come loose, the glue now yellowed and cracked along the spines. It's an old book. How about this one? Journal of Maximilian de Soto, Volume 1. Is this him? Is he writing his own journal? Oh, it was a journal. It's not like he's writing a manifesto. The scribblings of these journal pages are really illegible to anyone other than Vicar Max. Okay. What is this? A religious symbol of this flag denotes the Order of Scientific Inquiry, the OSI. Got it. Oh, my God. Sorry, Max. Didn't mean to put my gun out. Didn't mean to freak you out there. What's this? Tossball trading cards. He said he mentioned he liked to play tossball. In mint condition, most of these cards represent players from the Hephaestus Hammers and Tile Backers. I keep doing that. Stop it. Uh, examine. The Art and Science of Toss Ball, Impossible to Put Down, Order of Scientific Inquiry, Office of Literature. This endorsement has been approved. Auntie Cleo's Darlings, signed by Seymour Whitlock, who held the record for most on-field fatalities for three consecutive seasons. Good for him. So, Max, 
I wish I could sit down and talk to you. I'm, ooh, he has heavy ammo. Max! I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. I know what a Fibonacci spiral is. Captain? I don't contemplate it much. Uh, I like to know something about who I'm flying with. What's your story? Tell me again about the book we picked up that's in French. Remind me what are the stories of philosophists. I don't need to remind. Any ideas where you find someone who speaks French in this colony? Good point. You're out of my crew. I want you off the ship. No, 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 no. You just got here. I'm not, I'm not going to do that to you. Any idea where we can find someone who speaks French? Because we've got to decode that book. Um, tell me again about this book that's in French. Bokonu, the author, yes. had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Huh. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Got it. Um, can you tell me your story again? I remember a bit. You kind of were a heretic, tossed out, all that good stuff. So, um, uh, I'd like to get back to you. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition? Yes, I like it. Violently enthusiastic, you say? Uh, that's what my parents called it. Oh, mom and dad's I grew right. up in a pit of a town, much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Hmm. Why are you so passionate about it? Tell me... Tell me why. My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. Hmm. I Optimist. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. I see. Uh, but they weren't proud of you when you became a vicar, at least? Uh, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the proud parents or lack thereof. They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. Pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment. I like it. If you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? Yeah. Tell me about the plan again. No, 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 I know, I got it. I remember the plan of the Grand Architect. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about something else. Yes. Uh, you know, I think I I'm. Seems you're quite trusting of you just to sign on without knowing anything about me. That is very true. Seems you're quite trusting of me. Other than the fact that I had a big ship and you could get off that backwater planet that full of cannibals and. People who compost people. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. Got it. So you saw the opportunity and you took it. Okay. What if the book doesn't have the answers you're looking for? I honestly don't know what I'd do. This quest has consumed me for the better part of my life. I fear there's nothing else left to me. Mm. What about you? What's your story? Well, you know, I was a uh, medical aide. I stuffed bottles full of cotton. Ended up on a colony ship. Wells, Wells uh, thawed me out, threw me in an escape pod. And we plummeted to the planet squishing a smuggler named Hawthorne. I became the captain of this unreliable ship. Um, I love a good adventure story. I don't want to talk about it. I was a colonist on the Hope. A scientist named Wells saved me. And how did he do that? I just said all that. He stole my body from the hope of the edge of the colony and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? Hmm. You're going to make me decide this now? I'm helping him recover more of the chemicals I need to help save the rest of the colonists. It seems the right thing to do. I could also turn him in for wealth and power. Right now, we're just going to get the chemicals. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Why not? I had family on the hope. My friends are on the hope just because it's the right thing to do. Just because it's the right thing to do, and I don't know why. I don't know. Fair enough. 
Uh, I'll think over this stuff and I'll get back to you. I'm going to leave. So we've talked to Max. Hey, you know, it was good talking to Max. Got a... Got, was there anything else in here? Oh my god. Another book. Kind of... Oh, it's a sleep. It's not a book. It's a sleep. This is a reading table. Okay, Max is going to read. I think he'd get mad if I took the ammo. I don't really need the ammo, but I feel like I want to take it. Okay. So we found the ship. I need to brush down and probably... Can I access Brevardi from here? I can. Oh, I can access Max. What does he got? He's got himself a shotgun and a telescoping staff. I've got better stuff than that. I've got a shock stick. Shock stick sounds fun. Take the shock stick. All right. Security blade. Two-handed melee. I don't want you to take the shock stick. There we go. And what else do I have for you, nice man? Uh, let's give him a plasma rifle, which I should probably upgrade first, considering. Let's give him crummy, crammy like that. And we should upgrade these when we go downstairs. We're going to upgrade these. We'll be back. We'll be back, Max. Was there anything? Ooh, ooh, he's got perks. Healthy, boisterous, threat generated. Okay. Sneaky and bonus support hack. He can increase my hacking. Uh, I'd rather have him keep him on his feet. Let's give him healthy. Oh, he's got another one. Oh, no, that's tier two. So, yeah. I want to... Oh, these are all tied in. Bonus support hack. Sermon. Dialogue combat effect duration. And weapon science damage. Science weapon damage. Science weapon damage? Hmm. That sounds interesting. Well, these are all kind of cool. If I follow this path down, he could be really helpful to me. Um, hold on, because I'm going to revert that. Let's see what happens when I follow a path. Mark for purchase. Okay. So, plus 10 hack. It's not a bad thing. I'll apply it. Yes. The max, I'll be back. I'm gonna go upgrade your weapons and find you some armor. This is my favorite room. It's so spacious. It's a cargo hold. It's supposed to be spacious. Where's Pervardi? She was here. Maybe she went upstairs. I don't know. I'm going to dismantle Pervardi's gear too. Let's woo. Let's do some upgrading. All right. Uh, modify my own gear. That's what I'm wearing. Yes, I believe so. Yes, it is. Install mod. What else do I, can I do? I don't have anything in that category. Uh, gadget. I can install a gadget. The only gadget I have is electrocharged surface armor mod gadget. This mod stuns and damages melee attackers. It has the effect of a cooldown. Oh. Uh, Electrocharged surface. That actually sounds really cool. What other... Do I have any other gadgets that could help me out here? Utility? I have a backpack and I have a nightingale step. I think this sounds like a good thing to have because Electrocharged surface keeps all the melee guys off of me. Shock at them! Install that mod. Yes! I want it. Is there anything else? I don't have anything else. I have skill kits, tech skill, hunter kit, a thug kit. But I already have that. I need a utility kit that is not... This would increase my capacity to carry stuff. I don't really need to do that. Okay, let's equip them now that I've figured this system out here. Max! Give me the shotgun. You don't want the shotgun. I want you to have one of the upgraded... That one right there. Take that. And I'm going to give you the shock stick. Fear my shock stick. And then I think the armor you get. Doesn't matter. They're both the same. Take that. And yes, looking good. We got a good team here. And then a 
science or handguns? I'm going to give you the handguns because now you've got rifle. Give you a little extra science. I'll find you a better helmet later, I promise. All right. I still don't know where Parvati is. Maybe she's working. Uh, okay. Back up to my own captain's quarters. I am the captain. Look at my orders. Fear me and obey me. Okay. Yay. What we got? Ben. <gasps> I can put things, transfer, put things in. Oh, thank God. Okay. Let's put things, some things in here. That's fine. We're doing good. Look at all this stuff. Okay. I feel light as a feather now. That's my bed. Really? I guess the view makes up for the lack of accommodations. Um, what's that? Pick up holographic shroud. I'm picking it up. Holographic shroud. The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions and your companions. Wow. I didn't realize it was and companions. Provide you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel or otherwise result in being attacked on site. Cool. I don't know how to use the holographic shroud, but I have one. Is it in my inventory? Inventory. It is not that. Oh, consumable slots. It's still locked. I don't remember them being like that, but okay. Um. Holographic Shroud. Inspect. I don't know what to do with this. But it's okay. Journal. Passage to anywhere. Cleaning machine. What? You found a non-operational sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical on the unreliable. If you can get it running again, it may prove useful. Yes, we can keep the ship clean. Uh, completed? Yeah, okay. No botch. That's good. Quest type, location, vibration. Ooh, I can see this by region. Okay. There is a terminal. We need to read the terminal. Use the terminal! <laughs> messages for Alex Hawthorne. Let's read the messages from the dead. Hawthorne's... Let's go, uh, archive. Let's go in the way past. From you, Bedford. Dearest Alex, I can, can't tell you how pleased I am to finally hear from you. Your message was hilarious. I'm delighted by your sense of humor and your tale of hijinks. I hope your terminal will cooperate in the foreseeable future. Is this... There's interesting stories here. Anyway, your hope your meeting on Tarot 2 proves useful. And I look forward to corresponding with you regularly. Your best friend. My best friend. I have a best friend? Go down here. Ah! This, it's, it's in chronological order by earliest first. Okay. Dear Alex, a pleasure. Hello, Udom here. Udom Bedford. When we met... When we met when I accidentally impounded your ship, my silly fat fingers embarrassed me once again. I hope that wasn't too terribly inconvenient for you. It was such a pleasure for me, and I tremendously appreciate your forbearance and not throttling me. You are really quite the gentleman. If you're ever in Groundbreakers airspace, well, space space, don't please don't hesitate to look me up. The Lost Hope serves Spectrum Vodka. Perhaps we could try every color. You don't really tie one on. Let me know your friend Udom. Dear... To Alex, wing, when did I become a wingman? Or when did he become a wingman? I shouldn't think of myself that way. Dear Alex, hello, hello. Hope this finds you well. It was a pleasure to see my office again last week. Once again, I'm terribly sorry about the impounding of the mix-up. How could it have happened a second time? Terminals these days, I swear. Dreadfully unreliable. Ha <laughs> just like your ship. <laughs> uh, I hope you've given some thought to that thing we discussed, you know, about the Wells fellow. Hmm. I'm so sorry to press, but I have the strongest tickling feel that you really do know him. And if you could just tell me where he is, well, it'd be marvelous for our friendship, wouldn't it? Looking forward to seeing you again, Wingman. Your dear friend, Udom. Alex, I don't know where you were raised, but I'd hazard a guess it must have been a barn. Anyone, because anyone even with a monocum of decent rearing would know it's 
unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere messages of one's friend. I don't remember that being a friend. Please respond. So he was putting all those into his archives. He saved them. Hmm. Sent messages. To Ooh Bedford. Look, there's no call for shouting. My terminal was busted. Had a few too many and might have knocked it off the desk. You know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta cut loose, you know. I'm not telling you where Wall Wells is, so lay off. Buy me a drink at the last open next time I'm in, and I might forgive you. A.H. Deep conversation. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, Messages again. Unread. Ooh, Bedford. Uh, Udom Wingman's Wingman Bedford. He's getting awfully chummy. Uh, thank you. Oh, I forgot to mention my previous message. Silly me. I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, you know, steel. It's not exactly board approved, so you don't go showing around to your space or buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to certain someone's are entirely unintentional. Wink, smile, wink, smile. Udom. Return to root. Logs. God, there's someone. Shrink ray. Shrink ray. Log entry number one, titled Shrink Ray. Note to self, remember this later. No better. Ada, Ada, remind me weekly to check this long until I tell you to stop. No, yes, I mean continually. No, Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask that? Back to my point. I saw in actuality with my own two eyes a sublimely, sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab. Just sitting there for the taking. If the gray hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe... Or if I had a smidgen more nicely, or if I asked a smidgen more nicely. Hmm. He called it a shrink ray, but wouldn't let me test that after test that claim after I lost my temper. You moron! You could have had a shrink ray. Said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I had heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one, weapons that could push the boundaries of the mind and science is cutting edge but i figured they were just stories to be honest laying eyes well laying eyes on well shrink ray firsthand is enough to make a feller wonder if it's more to the rumors more to be had alex hawthorne title entry two hammer power hammer power last time i got sloshed i mean was imbibing at the lost hope on the groundbreaker Look, Odin was really free with the ranks. He seems like an okay fellow. Well, he's not, obviously. I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two Mardits yammering about a mad scientist some years back who claimed he made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony like none of us have ever heard of before. Like none of us have ever heard that one before. But here's the good part. The Mardits said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer's power or something similar. Hmm. A strange weapon with a special power created by a crazy lab cup sure fits the bill. It could be another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. Good point. And number three, black market leads. I want no more weapons. Uh, why, why, why won't Wells get, just give me the shrink ray? Blast him to the depths of the labyrinth on Tyrus and Bax. Let the record show I did apologize for shouting him down five times, but architect be damned. It's just sitting there, neglected. Gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him for without giving him permission or uh, breaking expensive equipment when he said he wasn't really ready yet. And that, if it were, he couldn't entrust it to someone like me. Well, let's see if it make a little rude and probably accurate. Because he's a moron. He stood under the, the pot. What does that even mean, I asked? That I'm not trustworthy enough? Yeah, pretty much. That I'd use it to wipe out the good, hardworking folks of the colony like some... Sort of moralist psycho? Maybe I didn't know him that well. I'll admit to maintain some questionable association, but I follow a strict code of my, of me, myself, and mine. What's not to respect in that? Exactly. All right, so we've read all of that. Acquire Phineas's science weapon. Acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. Where am I going? 
uh, passage you anywhere. I need to go to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Okay. The clean machine. Weapons from the void. Okay. Speak to glass and groundbreaker. Okay. That seems easy enough. How bad could it be? We've got our guys equipped up. Let's let's just go take a look on Max. See if he's wearing the gear I gave him. Yes, he is. He's wearing his equipment. I am well armored with companions in high armor. Not that I think of those meat shields, but I think of those meat shields. Okay, Ada. Oh, yeah, space lock. I don't want to open that now. Um, oh, okay. So, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? How do I operate HAL? Uh, know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? That's a good question. The unit is a cleaning SAM. A SAM. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. I see. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify SAM. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for SAM to properly operate. Okay, I skipped that part. I'll go back. Uh, I'd like to learn more about the colony. Not really. You got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. <sighs> it's a figure of speech, Ada. What if you didn't have a power source? How long could you last? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? Uh, I guess so. Don't try and change the subject. Don't try and change the subject. You distracted me. I'm asking how long it can last without power. As the organics say, I wouldn't dream of it. Because I can't dream, you know. So androids don't dream of electric sheep. You can sleep, but you can't dream. What do you think about the trap colonists? You said, yeah, getting off topic. What do you think about the trap colonists on the Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. So not. What might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh, you smarmy AI. Don't try to suck up to me. What about your last captain? Do you miss him, or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? Not really. A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In yes. our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. How did he do that? Um... We both know I'm not Alex Hawthorne, right? I'm just playing the game. How many Alex Hawthorns have there been? I wonder. Have there been other captains of the ship? Are they all named Alex Hawthorne? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Uh, that's why you have a special place in your logic module. Uh, let's talk about something else. That's all for now. I think I'll go. Okay. Unreliable navigation terminal. I shall call you Hal. Take us somewhere. Uh, Monarch. Monarch's where we want to go. Era 2. That's where we are. Phineas's lab. I can go to Phineas's lab. Interesting. I can go to Scalia. Scalia is one of the largest asteroids are orbiting Halcyon. The largest in a grouping of rocks known as the Char Charybdis Cluster. Hephaestus Mining once claimed the asteroid, but its prospecting site was abandoned decades ago. Interesting. I uh, can't go to can't go to these, but it does list them. Interesting. It must be moons of Halcyon. There's Halcyon. That's where we are. That's the groundbreaker. Independent orbital station and the remains of Halcyon's first colony ship. Captain by June, June Lay Tennyson, run by the descendants of the original crew. I need to go to Monarch. Right? I 
forgot. Welcome to the, oh my god, welcome to the system map. Why didn't that do it when I was in the system map? You can see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location you have unlocked, though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Thank you. Where am I going again? I am going... Travel to Stellar Bay of the Transfer of Monarch is interdicted by... You need to procure a nav key. Speak to glass. Oh, I gotta go to Groundbreaker. I gotta go to Groundbreaker first. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Groundbreaker, Hal. We need to go to Groundbreaker, which is nearby. Uh, select a destination on Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker docking base. Sounds like a good idea. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. That was surprisingly uneventful. I expected more. That's the groundbreaker, huh? Uh, how do we get from there inside the ship? Do we have a, do we have like a shuttle or something? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? How do I get on the big ship? Uh, I request right, huh? you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Okay. How do I get out of here? Oh! Let's talk when you're free. Oh, party. Yeah. Ada's watching. What's up? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Yeah, what about her? See, just what I'm thinking. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sounds like a good plan. Sure, we could head over to engineering. Wow, I thought you could... I thought you said you could keep this ship in good shape. Ship shape. Are you asking to leave my crew and join hers? I don't think she'd be much help. Uh, she might be of good help. I thought you can keep this ship up and running here. I absolutely surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Passing fair. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders, and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. Ah. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Good point. Sure, we can head over to engineering now. Are you asking to leave my crew? I don't think she much help. No, we can head over to engineering. Sure, why not? Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. I gotta get you out of those... Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, no. Did you learn your trade from your father? It sounded like you like it when you talk to Reed. Hmm. Uh, let's ask her real fast. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. He's kind of an ass at times. I don't see the humor in it. He meant funny as in odd. odd. Got it. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. Got it. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Understood. But you're actually good at this, right? And you enjoy it, right? Then it doesn't matter. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. See, you're not a very There's good worker. I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. I need you to be more punctual on your deadlines. Like, hey, I need the ship up and running in like 10 seconds. You have five. If you get lost in the ship's guts for hours on end, we're all going to die. You do know that, right? Uh, You didn't like your classes? That's been interesting. I want to talk about something else. You didn't like your classes? I wonder why. Oh, there were a whole lot of reading. Not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. That seems wise, actually. Uh, what did you do in your time off, other than learn about wrenches? As soon as I got permission, I spent all my time in the machine shop. They had all manner of parts, but they didn't want me using them, so 
I had to sneak them sometimes. I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied up in the rafters. Before I left, I installed a little skylight for myself so I could see the stars. You're a strange girl. You build anything fun with your time other than a hammock? That's it. You didn't spend any time with friends. You don't. You didn't have any friends. Did you didn't have your own room? They never. These are all good questions. So many questions. You didn't have any friends. Can't say I had many. Oh no. Mostly I kept to myself. Going to the community center to hear music, be in a crowd with people knocking into you. It all just made me want to run away. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. It was easier for everybody when I stayed off on my own. I doubt any of them remember me now. I can see why you bond to me like a lost puppy. I talked to you for a little bit, asked you some personal questions, made you feel like I care, which I don't. And here you are, following me around the galaxy, universe, solar system, whatever it is. After school, you move back to straight away. Well, it's been interesting. I want to talk about something else. Break time's over. Time to go, puppy. Uh, I need to put some armor back on you. Hang on. Whoa. I keep doing that. Inventory. I've already put your armor back on. I didn't put your armor. I did put your armor away. I'll be back. I'll be back. There we go. That's much better now. Okay. I wonder if I want to store some of the other things we've got. I want to keep all the modules we have. I might come across something better. So, I guess we go out the space lock? But we're not really at the ship. We're kind of drifting outside of it. So, how do we get into that? I'm really confused, Pavardi. We need to go. Aha! I get it now. I can take these two. There we go. See a little lit up down there. Continue!